Okay, guys, welcome once again for our special call. Today we have amazing Bradley. You already know him. He was uh, one of the first call I had a few years ago on my YouTube. And uh, I'm, I'm happy to have you here to give us a uh, nice training, of course, for uh, for uh, people from Balkan, especially from uh, from Serbia. So, Bradley, welcome once again for, uh, for a call with me. Well, thank you for having me. It's great. It's great. Uh, it's great to be here. You know, one of my um my favorite places I've I've been was I don't know where I don't know how far from either Belgrade or Nice, but I heard it's one of the like a very important like um historical place, but it was like a hike in these very unique kind of mountains where it has the form of of something like 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 it's very like like I don't know it's, what it was. It's uh it's a torrent, and it's uh close to Belgrade. It's like a yes. 20 minutes, 50 minutes from Belgrade. Yeah, it's Avala 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 Tora, I believe. Avala, and like the name was like Devil something, or I, I don't know, some some yeah. strange uh, name. But oh, that, that, that was I, I. I hope to go there again. When you when you come in June, you will uh, will go if you have time, of course. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, you have something for us today? Some some kind of trainings for a PPC that is the pain point for everyone. You know, it's yeah. it's really important to start on a good way and optimize your PPC, set some criteria. You know. Yes, yes, for sure. Like, and and I think it's um, it's it's for for me too. It, it was a pain point, you know. So you know, I, for for people who don't know, you know, I was I was um, helping with Amazon accounts way before I even worked at at Helium Ten. You know, I launched over over four hundred products, and for me, I was only trying to focus on the launch and listing optimization, keyword research. When it came to PPC, I'm like, nope. Somebody else, somebody else needs to do that at the company because uh, it's too complicated for me. And then I started uh, selling on Amazon myself uh, when I started working for Helium 10 because I was like, hey, I need to keep my knowledge fresh. And then and then I was like, man, I, I can't I can't just give this PPC to somebody else now. I really have to to kind of you know learn it for the first time myself. It's a, and so it's a, it's a core of the business, you know, you know right. You know. Yeah. You, you have to know. And then another thing is that I notice a lot of people who are new, like, like when I was new, they have a similar mind where it's like, oh, no, this is too much. It, it's too intimidating. Right. And then what they do is that's the first thing they try to say, no, let me let me find an agency. Let me find a consultant to to outsource this. And I say, no, don't do that. Maybe later, you know, you're a big seller and you, you need to build a team, of course. But if you are a newer seller or you don't know PPC yourself, you should not outsource it. You should not hire somebody because how do you even know? How can you judge what they're doing if you don't even understand PPC yes. yourself? You know, so yeah. for me, Atomic was the way that I could kind of more logically understand PPC and then also make it more simpler. You know, my, my campaigns, I have over uh, 200 campaigns in different accounts I'm managing. And if I were to be do downloading, you know, uh, Excel files and making pivot tables and things, even if I knew how to do that, yeah. it would probably take, you know, I, I would think at least, you know, 10 to 15 hours per week to manage my PVC. But because I'm using Atomic, it takes me maybe 30 or 40 minutes per week. So I'll, I'll show you guys now, I'm going to share my screen and show you some of the ways that it, um, that it makes my life uh, simpler. Uh, can you go ahead and give me the um, yeah, ability to uh, share my? Things? It's now. Yes, you can. You can share now. Okay, I got it now. Perfect. All right. So, the the first thing, and and you know, for those of you who are watching this, and maybe you don't have Helium Ten, and you 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 have some other software, this is still this is still important for you to understand because it's regardless if you're using Helium Ten or not, these are things that you need to do. When you're managing PPC, 90 percent of our students and followers are using Helium. Okay, excellent. That, that that makes it simple. Then, if you guys aren't doing the things that I'm doing, then it's important to to understand how to do it. All right. So let me. I'm going to go into something where I, at, at first, at least, maybe maybe it will look a little bit complicated. But let me explain how how important this is. So the beauty about about PPC or or Atomic is 
it allows different campaigns to talk to each other. So, so for those who are newer to PPC, you know, a lot of us use auto campaigns where we, we, we want uh, Amazon to maybe show us for all kinds of different keywords that maybe we didn't think of. And then there's broad campaigns or phrase campaigns where we know there's a target root keyword and we want Amazon to expand on that. And then there's exact manual campaigns for, for sponsored or for keywords where we know we want Amazon to show us for this exact keyword. Then we go into ASIN targeting. There is a sponsored product campaigns where it's an ASIN. I'm going to target a product. I want my product to show up on that product page. There's sponsored display, which is like a little more advanced product targeting where I can actually have some creative around it. So that's another kind of uh, sponsored product uh, campaign. And so the thing is, you need to have all of these campaigns talk to each other. You know, if I if I get um, an, a, a new keyword in from an auto campaign and, and it's profitable for me, I don't want to just wait for Amazon. Oh, I hope Amazon is going to keep showing this to me. No, I want Amazon to show this me for this keyword all day, every day. So what you should do normally, whether you have Helium 10 or not, is you take that keyword that the auto campaign found and you put it to the manual campaign so that you are telling Amazon, I want you to show this 24 hours a day. Same thing, you can find ASINs in the auto campaign and when it's profitable, you move it. Now, to do this normally, once a week, twice a week, once every two weeks, whatever, you're downloading seven different Excel files. And then now you gotta put it all together and, and run the report to see what's profitable. And then, okay, oh, I found this keyword, this keyword, all right. Which campaign now do I need to put this to? Okay, let me find it in Seller Central and do it. No, th this is how I set it up here. What we're looking at is, is the flow, my rules. This is the rules that I put and I have my performance campaign. Performance means exact manual. I have sponsored display. I've got auto. Uh, I've got a uh, product targeting campaign. I've got research campaign. This is a broad campaign. So. All of these campaigns inside of Atomic are talking to each other because I'm telling it what to talk about. So here I created a rule. I said, for example, right here, this is a auto campaign, right? I'm saying, hey, if you find a keyword that is profitable in the auto campaign, and, and here I, I, it's not what Helium 10 thinks is profitable. I, I could do that, but but I put my own my own rules. All right, everybody has their own rules. So some are. There's no such thing as right and wrong sometimes. You do what works for you. So I said, hey, if in the auto campaign, I get minimum two orders and less than 30% ACOS, then if it's a keyword, I want you to put it as a target in exact, this is E for exact, in my manual campaign. And actually let's test it in the broad, a broad campaign, all right? Just, just completely automatic. And then, and then right here, um, if I find an ASIN, this is a product, right? Match type ASIN in my auto campaign, I want you to go ahead and put it to my sponsor display campaign. And I want you to put it in the product targeting campaign only if it hits these rules, right? So, so he's me, basically, uh, Brandy, he's basically uh, splitting when he find the ASIN in your search term, he can split it in, 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 in a campaign, right? Yes, yes. Because usually before you need to do it manually all the time. Yes. Now, now I could actually take this to another level and automate it. You know, the, we have automation. I personally don't do automation. Mm -hmm. I, I like to control everything, but I wanna see what hits the rule and then, then decide yes or no. But I'll show you guys where it's going to show up, you know, later on. Uh, I okay. hope there are some, you know, I, I I just optimized the PPC, so maybe it's not going to show here. But on the flip side, on the opposite side, where people waste the most money in PPC is in keywords where it keeps getting clicks and no sales, right? So I, I put in what I call negative rules. So if in my broad campaign or the auto campaign, I said, hey, 
if you find a keyword where I have 20 clicks or I've spent $10 on clicks and zero sales, I want you to suggest to me to please negative match it. I mean, it, you'd be shocked. Maybe you wouldn't be shocked. You you know what's going on. But you'd be, the, the average person would be shocked to find out how much money Amazon sellers waste in, 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 in keywords. Because Amazon likes to make money, right? If you're going to pay them <laughs> for some advertising, they'll, they'll like, please give me your money, you know? So you have to stop it, you know, by knowing when this happens. And of course, you, you don't need Helium 10 for that. But but you would have to download the reports, run some formula to, to see, you know, which ones are above, et, et cetera, and then manually negative match. So this is just how I set it up, right? So now, now that I have these rules set up, and there's one more rule here, I like making a a cost target for my keywords. So, you know, sometimes it's 20%, you know, sometimes it's it's 30%. But basically, I don't want to be spending more than a certain number of uh, advertising cost of sale. All right. So the other thing that he that Atomic is doing is it's checking, hey, what is my A cost? And then what do I need to change my bid to make it match? And, and this could go both ways. You know, if if my target is 20 percent and my A cost is 5 percent, this is not necessarily good. Maybe I'm leaving money on the table. I need to increase my bid because maybe I can be shown more times. But if my A cost is 50%, of course, I need to decrease my bid. All right. So now that you guys know how I set it up in Atomic, what do I actually see? So let, let me see if I have any suggestions here. So the first suggestion that we're going to look at is the bid uh, suggestion. So let's just take a look at what I've spent the most. And I, and this one, I haven't looked at in, in a, in a while. So I'm sure there's going to be something, there's going to be something good here. All right. So for example, here we go. Coffin shelf large is a target, right? And I said, Hey, my, 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 my target a cost is 20%, but my actual a cost is 31%. So it's going to have me, it's saying, Hey, I need to lower my bid by nine cents. All right, now I'm doing this in a very slow way, but you can just imagine how fast this is. Now, to get this, if I didn't have Atomic, I would have had to download a report. I would have had to run a formula. And then I would have had to go in Seller Central and find where is this campaign, go into the ad group, go into the target, edit the, the target and make it lower, right? Here, I just hit, do I approve this suggestion? Yes, I approve it. I just hit one button. It's done. It's already now live in Seller Central. I decrease that bid by nine cents so that hopefully I can get uh, more more profitable. All right. Um, here's another one. Here's the opposite side. All right. Look at this. Broad match. Agrac is my target. I targeted 24%. All right, that's like my break even where I I I can make a profit still. My A cost is only eight percent, so it's saying, hey, little by little, you need to increase these this bid, little by little, because maybe you can be shown more and actually and actually still be profitable. So again, I don't have to worry about it. I'm just going to approve it, and I hit apply. Um, maybe maybe it's something that. I want to test a little bit more. Like, for example, here's one where I'm like coffin, right? My A cost is 32%. My target is 20. It's telling me, you know what? Lower it. But I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's around Halloween. Um, I really think this is going to get better. So I kind of want to hit snooze. You know, it's like when you're waking up in the morning, you have you have an alarm, you don't want to wake up yet. Maybe a little bit later, I want to check again. Let me hit snooze, right? So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say, you know what? I am not going to make a change. Um, just snooze it. And then if in if in if in one week it's still showing this, okay, then then suggest to me again. All right. So <laughs> all of my suggestions, I, I could just if if I trust atomic, like after a while, you can trust it. I, I could just do this all at once. Hit one good. button and all of these will go through. Um, I don't think there's any new keyword. Yeah, there's no new keywords here. But 
if I had found some new keywords that I didn't have in the manual campaign, it would show up here. And then to add it, I just hit one button. Same thing. If it finds negative keywords, which I, you know, I'm actually doing what I'm supposed to be doing. That's why it doesn't, it doesn't show up here. If I had negative keywords, it would show up here and it would say, Hey, you spent $40 on this campaign or on this keyword with no sales. You should negative match it. It's, it's a, it's a four or five minute process to do that one by one in seller central here. It's four or five seconds only because I just hit yes or no. And then it applies it. Um, I could look maybe regardless of my rules. I'm just curious what's going on on the search terms. Like for example, uh, oh, by the way, we have all of the history of your advertising. For because- how many days in a, in, a, in back? It's like two years. Two years. That's great. And sometimes even more than two years. You know, in Seller Central, I think you can only go back six months or, six or months, so. Six months, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Atomic, it, as uh, we've got it two years and, and even more. So th- there's an advantage there too. So let's just say, hey, for, you know, last um, year to date, you know, let's just say year to date, maybe I want to see a search term. And by the way, guys, this account has very many bad things because uh, a lot of people use this account for testing. So if you see some high A cost, please don't think Bradley does not know how to do Amazon. <laughs> this is because it. my team, my team is always doing crazy tests and, and they have, make me look have, bad. You know? We have also training accounts, you know, I, yeah. exactly what yeah, you're doing. Uh, so, but these are real products. So sometimes it makes me mad. I'm like, guys, what are you doing to my account? You know, I use this for demos. I look like an idiot. You know? I feel right. I feel so much if, if I let someone just to play on the these testing accounts then to to jump on yes. the, the most yes, important yes. one <laughs> so i'm trying to get another account so they stay out of out of these uh, accounts this is the project x you know <laughs> account so let's just say um i'm wondering hey is there a uh search term where maybe i i spent you know at least ten dollars and i had zero orders you know this year all right so I'm saying, hey, out of all my search terms of this year, where are the ones that I spent $10, but I had minimum or I had maximum of of zero orders? Let's see if there's any. I mean, hopefully there's not, but I'm sure there's, there's going to be some. Most of these I probably already uh, hit negative match. Okay, so so then here it's showing. Yeah, you see, th- these are all tests. <laughs> Look at all those terrible, uh, terrible <laughs> things. All right, but here, kitchen decor, it had... Sixty dollars of spend and zero. Now I know I, I I'm pretty sure I already hit you know a negative match, but just in case I'm not sure, I could actually hit it here. I was like, you know what? I want you to negative match, and this shows all of the different ad groups that this keyword is in because you can see here sixty dollars and zero out of all of these. So I can say, hey, negative match these keywords. Well, it'll tell me all right, negative match in which ad group, and then I can choose which ones I want to. Uh, negative, uh, negative match. I could do the, the the opposite. I'm like, what is something that's doing really well? Where I I sold at least, um, let's just say, three orders, and maybe a cost maximum five percent. Maybe this is too crazy. I don't think maybe there's not any of this. But maybe I'm like, hey, what are the the best performing keywords in my entire account? All right. So yeah, that that that's that's too good. You know. But then if if I had some like this, then I would instantly know like, hey, you know, you've got some some keywords that maybe they deserve it. Oh, maybe you want to separate it to its own campaign because it's so amazing, you know, 5% ACoS in three orders. So so there's just a lot of different things. Uh, you know, th- th- this is just a little bit. I, I can actually create the campaigns in Atomic. So, <laughs> so all of those campaigns you saw that I was manipulating, I created those in Atomic. I didn't even make those in Seller Central. Um, but yeah, that that's pretty much um, a, you know kind of a brief overview of how I use Atomic, uh, and it really really helps me. Uh, I mean, doesn't you know, just help me? Like I literally would not be able to do my accounts without it because you know, obviously Helium Ten is my main job. I maybe only have one hour a week or something to spend on my Amazon accounts in that hour or two hours. So if it wasn't for this, I would never be able to manage you know two hundred and fifty PPC campaigns. Back to two thousand eighteen. 
when I had this call with you, there was no atomic. So no, there was no it, atomic. It, it yep. was, it was, it was. This is huge improvement for for Amazon sellers for the new guys. You know, for sure, sure. You know? But you, people need to know that when they are uh, focusing on ACOS, many people focus on ACOS, many people focus more on uh, return of advertising spend. So yep. it's a different you, you kind of You can choose which one you want to do. Like I, 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 I prefer, the old school, so I, I do prefer ACOS most like ROAS. You know, it's, uh, yep, I want well, to see the, cl the yep. clear picture, you know, how much I get sure. or how much I spend. And you we know, also have the tacos. Tacos yeah. is another thing that we have yeah. in Atomic that you don't have in Seller Central where it's, hey, what's your total Cost, as a, you know, yeah. regardless if you're advertising or not. We have this, this, this like uh, targets, what we want to see during the honeymoon period, how much our tacos can be allowed, like a 50%, for example. And then in the phase of uh, maintaining growing phase, this, yes. but you also need to, to understand your, your group of your, your, your category, you know, of, exactly. of products. Yeah. That yep. is, that is what people doesn't do what research, you know, but because, yep. Sometimes uh, what you think that your ACOS is good is and overall is bad or the opposite. Yes. Yeah, that's why it's important. Yeah. Yes. Do you have guys any questions for Bradley? If you if you have just a few questions before Bradley, you can you can just uh, use your microphone and uh, ask Bradley for the question. That's okay. If if someone doesn't have, they will always they will always ask me for question because we have a one hour extra more for for questions. Okay, uh, cool. Bradley, you always have something. There is always something to learn, especially in Amazon. It's it's yes. business is changing every single day, and uh, I like to follow your uh, your work on uh, on YouTube. So I call people also to follow the the, the Tuesday tacos. <laughs> yes yes we have that once a month uh, a... once every month actually the next one is we just had one so yeah the next one will be in about uh three or four weeks mansur yep. mansur was last time as i remember on your yeah phone. we had mansur and then we also had vince vince was our guest too you know he's yeah. the, the one who started it we had him uh two weeks ago yeah mansur mansur was also part of a uh, uh, seller guys system that i was there also for many years so that's why oh, we, we, we know we know what we are doing in this business so that's why it's uh, for me. It's it's important to to see as much as I can to call people to who have a really great knowledge, and to introduce them on this market that is starting to be popular for Amazon FBA. So that's why yes. I appreciate your 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 coming here, Bradley, and uh, say hello to Boyan. Yes, Boyan will, is we'll now a CTO, right? Yeah, he he was no, actually he, there in in uh, Serbia uh, last weekend. Uh, he was he was there in 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 our Serbian office. And, and a few of our a few of our team was uh was over there so yeah i'll see i'll see you maybe in in june um uh take me to some delicious uh, serbian restaurant please. i have one of the best one in the city are from my really great friends so you need you need to, to okay, try to, the beef <laughs> I, I i love i love beef thank you all thank right you. all right we'll thank see you we'll much. see you we'll see you all later i'll see you <laughs>